muscles against your adult kids, against your grandkids, the unborn ones. Oh, in the spirit realm this moment, in the name of Jesus, the enemy is a liar. We are the children of God. The enemy is a liar. We are the righteousness of Christ. The enemy is a liar. We come this morning against every wickedness of every wickedness in the spirit realm, against every spiritual host oh, of wickedness in the heavenly places this moment in the name of Jesus. Oh, look, you see, take it. We take up. Oh, we, uh, we have taken up the whole armor of God. Oh, now we are able. We are able. We stand because we have the armor of God on us this moment. We have the armor of God on us this very moment. We have it on us this hour. The God of glory. Oh, we have it this moment. We have girded our ways with truth this moment. We put on the breastplate of righteousness this moment. Oh, we have shorted our feet with the preparation of the gospel, the good news. Therefore, the enemy, we have peace in our minds, peace in our hearts, peace everywhere we go. Oh, we come against, we come against, we stand against the wicked way of the enemy. We stand against the wicked ways of the enemy, the methodologies of the enemy. We stand against it this morning in the name of Jesus. Every scheme of the enemy, we come against it this moment in the name of Jesus. Every, 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 every device of the enemy, every wicked wicked device of the enemy. We stand in the power of the Holy Spirit, oh, this moment, and we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over everything that the enemy throws at us in this day. Oh, because this is a new day. This is a new day. This is a new day. We have God on our side. We have God on our side because this is a new day. Oh, therefore, we stand in that strength of the anointing. We stand in that strength of the power of his mind. We stand in that strength of the power of his wisdom. Oh, this moment we send a notice to the enemy. We call all of his efforts avoid and nullified in the name of Jesus. We cancel every methodology of the enemy. Every pit that the enemy has dark. Oh, he's going to fall into it this moment in the name of Jesus. We call on God this world moment that, oh God of glory, that the enemy wouldn't have any upper hand. The enemy wouldn't have any influence. The enemy have no impact on your, on us, on our children, on, on our businesses, on our marriages, on our finances this day in the name of Jesus because we do know that we are in him. In him we move. Uh, we have a uh, move. Our uh, very being. Uh, therefore the enemy cannot have anything against us. Oh, this morning, oh God of glory, oh, we come before you this early day of the morning. Uh, it does not matter where you are this day. Oh, it could be mid-morning. It could be mid-afternoon. Wherever you are this morning, you plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your family this moment. You plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your possessions this morning. You plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your business. You plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your finances. You plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your marriage. Wherever you are, you call on God. He is your daddy. You call on your heavenly father and you ask him that God, oh my heavenly father, my daddy, I call on you this moment for a hedge of protection over my family, over my business, over my marriage this moment. Oh, just as you were to the Israelites when you were guiding them, when you led them out of Egypt. Oh, your word says, I have the new covenant in the blood of your only begotten son. Oh, therefore, the covenant you have with me is better than that of the old. I stand in that promise and I come to you this very moment, oh my daddy. I stand in that on that promise in my heart with my lips, with at my thumb this very moment. And I say, God of glory, I bring my worries, I bring my cares unto you this very moment. I commit my family into your hands 
who seems to talk, talk to God, the God of glory. Oh, you that has you that has liberated your children, oh, of Israelites, you that have liberated them after 430 years. Oh, you said, therefore, oh, the covenant you have with me oh, is better than that of the covenant of bulls, of the of, of, of blood of bulls and animals, because my covenant is with you. My covenant is with the only begotten son. Oh, you went to that cross and shed your blood for me. Oh, therefore, I stand in that understanding. I stand in that power. I stand in that wisdom. I stand in that knowledge and say, God of glory. Oh, you protect my family. Oh, God of glory. I speak. I speak your word. Oh, this very moment in my heart that you distract legions of angels. Oh, legions of angels all around the place, all over. Oh, to protect my home. Oh, to protect my business. Oh, to protect my job. Oh, to protect my kids. Not only my kids, but to the fourth generation. Oh, Lord, I stand on your word today. That God of glory. I stand in that anointing that has brought to bear upon my life. That when you shed your blood on my behalf, I stand in that cleansing power. I stand in that ability of the blood. I stand in the anointing of the Holy Spirit this very moment. I say, God of glory, I come before you this morning, wherever you are this day, wherever you are this day. It could be mid-morning at your place. It could be mid-afternoon where you are. Or it could be early, very morning. Oh, say, God of glory. I have no interest and I have no trust in anything other than you. You tell him, God, I have no interest in anything and I have no trust in anything other than you, other than your might. I stand in the, in the wisdom and in the power of the knowledge that I have of your might. I stand for the Father you are living right now in me. I stand in the power that has resurrected Jesus Christ. That same power that has Brought quickened me and brought me back into you, oh, back to my rightful place in you. I stand in that understanding. I say, God of glory, you discharge legions of angels, oh, to surround my home, to surround my business, to surround my marriage, to surround all of my possessions, oh, God of glory, to surround my ministry this moment in the name of Jesus. I pull down every stronghold and I come against every methodology of the enemy. Me. I stand against every schemes of the enemy and every devices of the enemy. I counsel with the blood of Jesus Christ this moment. I call the devices of the enemy this hour avoid and nullify in the name of Jesus. I call on your name because I know when I call on the name of Jesus, your word says at your mentioning by your name. When I mention your name, every knee bow and every tongue confesses because I call on your name this moment, O oh Father. Oh, every Every wicked knee bow to that name in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual, everything in the spirit realm, every ruler in every dark age in this realm, in this jurisdiction, in my city, in my hometown, in my state, in my community, in my metropolis, I stand in the knowledge of your presence. I stand in the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare to the enemy this moment in the name of Jesus that you take your filthy hands of my family in the name of Jesus. You demon, you take your filthy hands of my kids this moment in the name of Jesus. You demon, you you take your, your filthy hands of my finances this moment in the name of Jesus. You filthy, you filthy enemy. You take your filthy hands of my marriage in the name of Jesus, I call on the name that I can call on. I call on the name that can listen to my prayer. Yahweh, I call on you today, Yahweh.
Yahweh, I call on you today. Your word said to me through Jeremiah, say, call on to me and I will answer. I am obeying your word. I am going according to what you said, O Lord. I call on your name today. Oh, then I put me to shame. Your word says they look to you and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. I come before you, O Lord, like that poor man. I come before you, O Lord, like that poor woman, O Father. Oh, and I know my face will never be ashamed. Your word says, oh, that the young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who put, who put their trust in you, oh, shall not lack any good thing, O Lord. I stand on your word today, O Lord. I stand on that word today, O Father. O saints, stand on the word of God today. O stand on the word of God by faith because you have it in you. O stand on that word of God by faith because you have it in you. You have the spirit of the Lord living on the inside of you. That spirit that has quickened oh, your, your, your dead spirit. That spirit that has quickened you back to life. You have it within you. O stand on that word of God. Oh, stand in the knowledge and in the wisdom of the fact that you have the living God oh, dwelling in you and said, make a declaration oh, to whatever area, whatever area you see the hand of the enemy oh, seem to be creeping in. Oh, say, God of glory, I counsel every demonic activity, I counsel every evil way of the enemy that comes creep in through my family or oh, trying to creep in through any of my kids. I counsel all those things in the name of Jesus and I sealed every crack, every crack hole that the enemy seems to have access oh, to my kids or oh, to my grandkids or oh, to my marriage or oh, to my business or oh, to my finances or oh, to my very health. I seal that crack that the enemy wouldn't have access to whatever he has planned. Oh, this very moment I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over all that you have endowed me with. Oh, saints, I can see you. Oh, you mentioned whatever it is and bring it to the forefront of God this moment in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, whether you've been served with any notice, whether you've been served with any report, oh, bring that report before the Lord. It's a whose report shall you receive? You shall receive the report of the Lord. Whose report shall you receive? You shall receive the report of the Lord. Whatever report you've been served with, whatever report that is in front of you, whatever report that bothers you, oh brother, bring it to the forefront of God this moment because he is your daddy. He is your God. He has, uh, you have become a, a dwelling place of his holy presence. Oh, therefore call on him. Say, call unto him and I will answer. You have that promise. Say, call unto me and I will answer. Call on God on this Monday. Call on God on this man is said, this is a new week. This is a new day. This is a new week because he's promised you that he'll make it uh, new. His favor and joy, oh, it's new and mercy is new every morning. And therefore, this is a new day. And therefore, this is a new morning. You expect that joy overflowing. You expect his peace overflowing in your soul, in your mind. Mind. Therefore, the enemy has no part in, in you. The enemy has no influence over your mind, over your heart. The enemy have no influence of any step you have taken. Oh, this moment, I want you to call on him this hour. Oh, call on him. He said, call on to me and I will answer. Call on to me and I will answer. He made a promise through one of his prophets. Oh, Jeremiah, he said, call on to me and I will answer and show you great and mighty things that you do not know about. Therefore, call on to him this moment that God, I'm following the promises you have given me. Oh, through Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, I'm calling on you this very moment. He said, call on to me and I'll answer. I am 